going Andy here and I'm back again with the uh, Canon DP V2420 monitor. Uh, this is their latest in the line of Canon Cinema reference displays. Uh, I've done uh, a blog, a video on the 2410 monitor, which is a 4K reference HDR monitor as well. Uh, this is the sort of big brother now, uh, the 2420, uh, and that is because it has a, a thousand nit output. Uh, so it is a true HDR reference display in every way. Um, they both are, but this pushes it even further. Um, it is a, it is a, has a 20,000 to 1 uh, contrast ratio, which is amazing considering this is an LCD panel. And they get that by having a black level of only 0.005 nits. Uh, basically, the blackest blacks I've ever seen on an LCD. So a really, really beautiful uh, dark black. Uh, and extremely bright white output. So that gives you that contrast ratio needed for true HDR, right? So uh, you know, there's a lot of HDR monitors, but if you don't have that contrast ratio, you really can't show it. So uh, this monitor meets all the criteria and specs for uh, BT2100, which is an HDR, a new HDR standard. It also qualifies as a Dolby Vision mastering monitor. So uh, it has the uh, P PQ curve built in, the SMPTE 2084 curve, and it can do HLG as well. So it meets all the criteria for an HDR finishing monitor, uh, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it's also a great post, uh, I mean, a production tool. If you want to bring it out to set with you, uh, you can actually feed the raw data from a can uh, from Canon C300 Mark II, C500, or in the future, the C700. Send that out SDI, and it goes SDI, uh, and uh, you can uh, debear it and, and apply a lot, and voila, there you go. It also works well with uh, Alexa camera, uh, Airy cameras, just to say, like the Alexa. Send out a log C signal. It can show that, apply a LUT to it, uh, even show you the camera data from it. So that's very uh, useful and interesting. It has great built-in tools as well, including false color, which I love, which is, a, which is a very useful exposure tool, a 4K vector scope, a 4K waveform. So it's just a handy tool that way. And then it's really good for a DIT in the sense that it, it can uh, you can import a 3D LUT into it, just load it directly in, or a CDL. You can actually use also this like tangent panel here, this element, uh, integrate with it via USB, just plug it in, and I can actually go in and adjust my, my settings on the fly here, which is pretty good, uh, if you want to, and spit out a CDL. And this can be also remote controlled by various software uh, that DITs often use, and color, including uh, Colorfront, uh, Pomfret's Live Grade, uh, and uh, Mystica. So they can all integrate with it, talk to it directly, making it very useful on set. And of course, if you want to see what HDR really is, you need an HDR reference. Uh, of course, in post, this is a reference display, and this is you know, something you need if you want to finish an HDR. Uh, so cool features there that are nice. Uh, they have a side-by-side -side display uh, for seeing uh, HDR and SDR on the same panel. This is a great thing. They also have a, um, an HDR scaler, essentially, in there, which means you could take or emulate, essentially, what it would be to have even brighter to that reference. Uh, Dolby spec says up to 10,000 nits. This is 1,000 nits, but it can emulate 1,000, 4,000, 10,000, so with the scale up. Uh, so we can see what that would look like in, in general idea, anyway. So uh, that, 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 that way we can actually finish for uh, even future formats or future display technology that may be out there. So uh, it is that. It is truly that. Uh, physically, uh, it's very similar to 2410. It's, it's deeper, uh, a couple inches deeper actually and heavier. Uh, but otherwise, pretty much the same. It has S 3G SDIs in, HDMI in, HDMI 2.0, so 4K in by HDMI. Uh, it's, a, it's a great display. You may, just, you may use it on set. You may, it may be perfectly at home in post, though, for finishing. Uh, and I'm really just happy to see Canon come through with a panel and a display that uh, really shows what they can do. So um, that's it for now. Uh, let us know if you want to check this, this guy out. Well, we'll have it hopefully soon enough in our showrooms in different places. So give us a call. Ask us about that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.